Hello everyone, I am Express and today I will show you how to use the Extreme Power Calculator to calculate your average PSU power usage. Okay, so let us start. First, you have to go here. The link will be in the description to both websites which I'll use today. Okay, so it says here, system type, uh, one physical CPU. Uh, motherboard choose the correct one mine is regular desktop it's not a high-end if you have a high-end motherboard then choose the this option here okay CPU brand you can choose between AMD and Intel mine is Intel so of course I will use the Intel CPU socket please choose the correct one if you don't know um, which socket your CPU is just um, Search Google for uh, searching Google for your motherboard, and you will find the socket. Now CPU. Uh, mine is Intel Core i3 i3 five hundred and thirty. Um, if you have overclocked your CPU, check this box here, like I have. It, here it says the stock CPU speed and the stock voltage. Just leave these settings at default, and here type in the overclocked CPU speed mine is 4012 and overclocked voltage to this and click here overclock and here it will um, calculate the overclocked CPU wattage now choosing RAM um, I have two sticks of DDR3 RAM and that's what I'm gonna select uh, video cards, uh, you can choose between basic card, AMD, NVIDIA and S3 graphics, mine is AMD and I only have one GPU, AMD Radeon HD 5770 if you have multiple cards um, set both cards here and then you must uh, choose uh, crossfire for the AMD cards and SLI for NVIDIA and also if you are using physics processing unit selected here hard drives I have two regular SATA drives um, SSD drives if you have please select uh, I don't have them here you choose your drives if you have a CD-ROM drive or DVD-ROM drive I have one drive so I'll select one um, here if you have additional PCI cards can choose them here and AVG here. Also, additional PCI Express cards exclude video cards from this list. External devices if you have USB drives and FireWire, uh, let's choose just one. If you have fan controllers, front bay card readers, front bay LCD display, I don't have any of that, so I won't check any of these boxes. Uh, I don't have a cold cathodes, whatever that is. Fans. I have three 120 millimeter fans. Uh, one is LED, a high performance, um, maybe one. Uh, if you have TC coolers that include liquid cooling kits, choose here, Cooler Master V10, blah blah blah. I don't have any of those. Water pumps, if you have them and here water cooling kit I have the Corsair Hydro A60 um, don't have a pump relay as far as I know system load uh, leave it at default settings and this also other hardware keyboard and mouse included and click here on calculate and it says minimum PSU wattage 278 watts recommended 328 watts okay now check this here attention the recommended total power supply wattage gives you a general idea on what to look for but it is not a crucial factor in power supply selection total amperage available on the plus 12 rail rails is the most important followed by the plus 5 V amperage and then the plus 3.3 uh, V amperage what this means is that this will only give you a general idea on which power supply, uh, which wattage to look for.
Now this does not mean that 300 watt supply will be enough for me. Uh, I found this uh, here some uh, GPU information on the amperage that it needs on the plus 12 rail and the plus 12 rail is the most important uh, thing if when you are looking for the power supply okay so if we go here and it says Radeon HD 5772 which is my card it needs 34 amps and a 500 watt PSU minimum now if we check my power supply which is Corsair VX 550 watt power supply it says here on the plus 12 rail it can support up to 41 amperage and here it says that uh, the 5770 needs 34 amps which is which means that this uh, power supply has more than plenty enough power to power my GPU so this is what you have to look for when you are choosing your power supply I'll also give you the link to this page here so that you can check um, amperage on certain GPUs if you are looking to buy one such as um, let's say 7870 and other cards now this only goes up to HD 6000 series and the GTX 500 series um, I'll try to look for also the 7000 series and 600 series if I can find and I'll also give you the link in the description but uh, one more quick tip always look for the amperage on your power supply do not think if it is let's say 800 watt power supply that it will uh, provide enough power to your GPU okay thanks for watching this quick uh, video if this has helped you, please click on like and check out my channel and my other videos and please subscribe. Bye.